Hello YouTubers, my name is Kitchen, and today I want to present a new game to you that is currently in a demo. It is called Crawl Yard. It's a free demo, everyone can play it, it's on Steam, but I thought I would do a quick run through of it here. I was approached by the developer uh, who calls himself Ukivuki, a fantastic little name. He is a developer over at Pigeon Eye Games, who are both the developer and the publisher of Crawl Yard. And uh, it stuck out to me, not only because I was approached by the developer, which is always a nice uh, intro, but he let me know that this is a real-time card combat game, a uh, real-time roguelike, roguelike deck builder, which is a new thing that I kind of see come up, pop up every now and then, and it's really a fun kind of mechanic. I'm gonna turn down the music here a little bit. So yeah. And uh, this game in particular then feel, uh, features romanceable characters, which I'm not sure exactly what that implies, but I think we will just dive in. The game itself looks very smooth from the front screen here. Like I said, it's a free demo. It comes out later this year. Uh, the world is aching, unstable and unsure. People desperately yearn for miracles for salvation. They say the mansion of whispers can grant any wish but it carefully chooses those worthy of running its trials. I'm reading this too slow. Oh well. Welcome to the dungeon. Prepare for a spectacle. All right. Looks interesting. Proceed. No? Okay. Quiet Tundra, one enemy inside. Quiet Tundra, one enemy inside. Regular battle, two enemies inside. Level up, mend effect. What are we supposed to click here? Can I click the cards? No. Level up. Choose an attribute to upgrade. Unlock new cards upon meeting the requirements. Let us increase damage. New cards unlocked. Howl. Reduce melee damage of nearby enemies. Proceed. Okay. Not much of a tutorial here, but let's just see what happens. Press space to enter deck time. So that's what we did here. They're fighting on their own, but I think I can affect the battle by playing various cards. Deal damage around the puppet. The puppet is my character then. Stun the enemy. Deal damage around the puppet. Equip greatsword. No passive effects for now. We still love you. Nice. Uh, equip spear. Deal extra damage based on speed increased while moving. Hmm. Let's equip... The great sword. Okay, so then he changes his loadout. Ah, and we get the shield stands immediately. Equip shield, block next attack. Aha. Uh -huh. Let us just play the normal speed again. So here down here is my health, the knight. I can pause again here. We upgraded our damage, that's why it's a two, okay. And equip the shield now, I think. So that we block the first attack. Then I block the attack indeed. Then I equip the greatsword. Do a big swing. Then shield again. That did not seem to work. Interesting. Well done. Now try using the stance cards. That's what we were doing, I think. Yeah, these are the stance cards. Ground smash. Deal damage around the puppet. Oh, this can happen while the time is frozen. So then they just die. Okay, interesting. Dungeon complete. Pressing the key to continue. So that wasn't very challenging, but that was probably like a tutorial level. This will take a while, but the mansion should not be desolate. Perhaps its residents can offer advice. Tried reading it quick that time. With the barmaid. Okay, that I can click on. This seems like a romanceable character. voice acting but then I gotta do the rest myself here so the barmaid stay silent for a while giving you time to catch up your breath gradually your hands stop shaking and your pulse slows down I apologize for the lack of warm welcome we haven't been notified of your arrival what role would you prefer to play there is more voice acting perfect 
The inspector will do. Thank you for having me. She smiles at you. So far, so good. The mansion is deadly, hauntingly quiet. You are hesitant to ask too many questions lest you raise unnecessary suspicion. But this is definitely not normal. Do I need to report to anyone before I start exploring the backstage? Seems to me that you have already started anyway. Well, I suppose you will need to talk to the architect when he returns. The you architect. can use the spare dolls in the meantime. I'm sure the puppeteer wouldn't mind. Okay. It is insanely hard to pretend that you already it is insanely hard to pretend you already have all the necessary instructions when you clearly don't. Yeah, yeah, that's how I feel. Still, you need to act like you belong. Okay. I can say I'll come back later once I progress enough. Or, all right, I'll try not to damage the scene too much. Not sure what the difference oh, is here. Let's go with this you one. You can come back anytime. I'll be here. Mm-hmm. Bearing the same reassuring smile, she lightly taps the bar counter. Despite everything, you feel grateful for the fact that you are not alone here. Leave. Okay. I like the animation style. It's... I wouldn't say minimalistic. Simplistic, but yet smooth. Back. Okay. So we can talk to the bar mage. Reach second floor of the dungeon, zero out of two. We have a guy over there that I cannot click on. It seems like this is the dungeon and it doesn't feel like anything else is clickable. So I say we try that. Build the dungeon, okay. We got a stock room, heroic place. Boost your doors, stats for this run, adds exhaustion to the deck, interesting. Slow down call, enemies have less health, but get armor. Okay. Let us put in heroic place. Oh, I can add him in here, and then we've got unknowns. I see, so I only need to add two. Enemies have less health, but get armor. Yeah, let's see what it does. I don't know. Reroll. Oh, we can reroll stuff. What else do we have? We have something up here that I cannot click. Okay, crawl. Crawl yard. Which I thought was a play on uh, like Dungeon Crawl and Graveyard, but I'm not so sure if, if Graveyard is in, in effect here. So we can level up again. I can mend and effect. Okay, we got two enemies, one enemy, symbols down here, another symbol there. Let us click effect. Activate the effector room card. Sure. Okay. Clicking, clicking stuff here. Proceed. Now we have the exhaustion. Your stamina is halved. Play this card to remove the debuff. So there must be a cost, which there is. The two up here and there's two over here. These cost zero, the stances. But the other ones you do not. Your stamina is halved. Now where is my stamina? Oh, maybe that is my stamina. But now I have no stamina. Interesting. So we got rid of the exhaustion though, and I got... Oh, I forgot what I got out of the heroic thing. Oops. But anyway. We're in the room. We have the shield out. Let us take the spear as we're moving here. There we stab with the spear, then shield stands to block the next attack. I would think. Spear while moving. And that seemed to work. Oh, and we get different cards based on that. Throw a spear at the target. Break distance. Jump away or break distance. I see. Jump away from the enemy. Huh. We can probably use that to dodge an attack. Like he's swinging now. Then we play break distance. Still got hit. So that didn't work. Okay. No enemies here. That was my empty room that I played. I see. We've got one enemy and one enemy over there. Mend will probably heal me. Re repair your puppet by 50% mend. Seems like a good idea. I think I played it poorly in the first room there. Let us throw a spear here. And another one. And then stab. Okay. 
we took a hit, which is not what I wanted. I will throw a spear and then shield. We blocked the first attack, good. Took the next hit though. Hmm. Okay, dungeon complete. It's a little confusing, I won't lie, but I'll try to make it work. Scenic call. Enemies deal half of the damage, but ignore armor. I don't have armor though. Assassin's Lair. This sequences enemies get their health reduced. So this is just good for me. Stock room and scenic call again. So this sequences enemies get their health reduced. Let's try that. And I think I like the scenic call too. So crawl. We did get healed between the levels. That's a nice thing. Any enemies here? No. So I can level up or do the effect thing. If I don't do the effect thing, I'm not sure if we get the, the effect of the room at all. But let's try just leveling up here. Uh, choose an attribute to upgrade and unlock new cards upon meeting the requirements. Okay. Speed and attack speed or increases health. I've, I think a little bit more health would be nice. And we also get new cards here. Deal damage to target with shield. Okay, shield strike. Got 13 more health. Hmm. It's a nice percentage. So, stun. Oh, there. Stun that enemy. That did not work. There. Good. We took no damage there. Nice. So now we've got two enemies. We will ground smash these, obviously. So, I see my stamina is recharging over here. Deal damage to the target. I think we'll do the um, the ground smash as soon as they're both in range here. Good. And then we're out of stamina. We took no damage again. Nice. Okay, the shield seems really good. Stun enemy. Stun you. At that time we took some damage. Let's try sword stands. We get cheap move, strike quickly, and reset your regular attack. And howl, reduce melee damage of nearby enemies. Huh, this cheap move seems really good. So we get one enemy, two enemies, and three enemies. Okay, so hmm. Do we mend? Or effect or level up. I think leveling up sounds nicer and it seems to carry over between dungeons. So that's really nice. I'll, I'll make sure to get a little bit of everything here. So let's go for speed and attack speed. That gives us charge. Run straight to the target, ignoring any status effects or other foes. Okay. Probably with the spear. So if we do the damage, as soon as the damage is triggered, we will do cheap move and he should attack again. Okay, it kind of missed the animation there. Um, bum, 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 bum. Do we do the howl? Let's try the howl. So that reduces their damage. He did the attack, then we do cheap move. It's kind of hard to see what goes on there. I, we, we are taking quite a bit of damage. Now we are in the room with the three enemies. I'll go into shield stance and we'll try to get the ground smash going here. There. Okay, good enough. And I think we made it. Dungeon complete. The puppeteer arrives. Your knight dull shivers uneasy. But there's another dungeon here. Can we go back? Yes, the puppeteer is here. That next exclamation point is to the barmaid 2 but 3 next to the puppeteer. Not creepy at all. Creativity is a resource. Replenishable, 
unfortunately, but not without cost. You see a masked person ripping a doll apart violently. The puppeteer is back, the barmaid whispers behind your shoulder. Go talk to them. I don't wanna. So you do though, okay. And I am the inspector. Greetings. I have only just arrived here. The I'm... Inspector, huh? Great. Welcome. Enjoy your stay. What a know-it-all. They don't question your sudden visit, but by the looks of it, they wouldn't care about anyone's visit, period. You glance at the barmaid, and she lets out a tiny Please sigh. Let's try and communicate just a little. The inspector is remarkably good with the backstage, it seems. Maybe he can help you test your dolls. Oh, really? Well, that indeed would be quite delightful. The puppeteer sounds skeptical, but at least they are looking straight at you now. Probably. So... Let me... Let's uh, ask, what doll were you A working on? One. I thought that if cleaving through enemies doesn't work, maybe a subtler approach would do. But it's still not reacting to my commands fast enough. Wait. And what about that other magic-wielding puppet of yours? Didn't you say you wouldn't start any new projects before finishing the existing one? You barely hold back a chuckle upon hearing the puppeteer's exasperated groan. So that sounds to me like there's a rogue class and a magic, so a wizard class puppet coming up. I'm a little bit confused about the, the actual lore, like why are we playing with puppets in a dungeon? But um, maybe that'll be revealed later. Can you control enemies, Joe? Uh, I wish. But no, the only puppets you command are the ones that I have built from scratch and accept you as their director. Although, maybe I can give them a little upgrade with the parts you bring me from the backstage. Just please make sure you don't drag a fully functional rampaging marionette here. <laughs> the puppeteer scoffs in amusement, but you decide to keep the barmaid's advice in mind. Thank you for letting me use your puppets. Ah, ah well, sure. Enjoy. Better than rushing onto the scene yourself, like that blockhead warlord used to. Hmm. Warlord? I don't believe... <laughs> I hardly knew her. No, I don't believe I've had the honor to meet him just yet. And you probably won't. But his record shouldn't be hard to beat. So, good luck. Now, please move aside. You're blocking the light. Whatever, dude. You actually aren't, but you shift slightly to give the puppeteer some space, more figuratively than literally. The barmaid returns behind the counter to leave. Yeah. Okay. So he makes the puppets, I think, right? You find the barmaid critically evaluating several mysterious ingredients arranged neatly on the counter. Some of them don't seem edible at all. Hey, I just wanted to make sure. That cocktail you gave me, is it a one-time offer? How much should oh, I pay you? Don't worry about it. It's on the house. You can have as many as you like. Maybe I can charge for exotics and special orders in the future. We'll see. My kind of bar. Uh, do you even accept real money here? To an extent. But there are things much more valuable than any currency from the outside. Now, did you have any other questions? When will I meet the other residents? The puppeteer is testing a new doll. The architect locked himself in his office. The collector was called away on urgent business. I could have sworn the shaman was here just a moment ago. In a world where everyone is named after their profession. She looks around, mildly concerned. 
No shaman in sight. Ah, eventually she just shucks, shrugs. Around. Anything else? Any adventuring tips you're willing to this share? This is not an adventure, I'm afraid. So, my first piece of advice would be to treat it seriously. Other than that... Plan ahead. Don't rush. Take it slow and easy. Until you're ready to advance. And don't be afraid to back away from a deal that's being forced on you. Back away from a deal that's being forced on you. Interesting. The way she subtly frowns implies that she has had at least some sort of personal experience with the backstage. And it very obviously wasn't a pleasant one. Thank you. That would if be all. If you say so. But please, let me know if you need my assistance in the future. Likewise. Actually, is there any way I can help you? No, not yet. A little later, perhaps? You can continue with your exploration in the meantime. I will contact you when I'm ready. Mm-hmm. You exchange good luck wishes, and she returns to preparing yet another cocktail. The one you don't think is on the menu. All right. So we have new quests here. Reach for fourth floor of the dungeon and visit the dungeon one time. I can do that one. Sounds easy enough. Let's do one more run here. So heroic place, scenic call. I wonder if this is like a, a translation that's gone wrong. Heroic place seems like it's just like an odd way of naming anything. But whatever. Scenic call, same kind of thing. But this is supposed to be like a stage. So maybe these are like scene names. Mm -hmm. Maybe. And then Stockroom does nothing. Boost your doll's stats for this run adds exhaustion to the deck. And then she, I don't feel like it, it did anything when I did that. So let's just do Scenic Call. That, that one's fine. And then Stockroom. Crawl. Yeah. See, the thing is, though, I, I prefer leveling up, I think. And it seems to carry over between dungeons, like I said. So that seems like the, the way to go, where effect will only be for this run. And, hmm. But I suppose once it's maxed out, it'll matter more. Anyway, let's reduce the cooldowns a bit. That one we didn't get much out of, but sure. Now, what do we have there? I can't click at the enemies or, like, look at them. We still have our knight here. Uh, I will go with Spear, Break Distance, and Spear Throw here. Okay, no damage taken, good stuff. We got the charge now. Is that an enemy there? It must be. And down here, can I see? Yes, this is also an enemy. Okay, so I think shield is appropriate here. That This thing looks like a spiky thing that will hurt me when I attack it or something. Let's try going a bit on the defensive here. There, and then we will ground slam like so and stun that enemy because it's got high health, so I am, well, appropriately scared of it. It didn't seem to stun, but whatever. We killed it and we only took a little damage. Uh, let me let me go for the stun on you again here. As soon as you come in with range. Doesn't seem to be working. There, now it's stunned. And I'm not taking damage for hitting it, so good stuff. Spear stands out. Ah, we got two enemies. I wonder what the skulls mean. Probably just battle and one enemy. Two enemies, one enemy. Level up. I'll take some more damage and go. So, didn't really get the cards in Spear that I was hoping for. The Spear Throw, I think, is pretty nice. But let me let me go and switch into Sword, actually, and just do a cheap move here. There. I took a ton of damage there. It's kind of hard 
I'm trying to keep an eye on what my guy is doing, but then I took damage from something. I'm not sure what. We got a 24 health dragon thingy here. Uh, let's go shield and block the first hit and maybe also shield strike it once here when I can. There. Nice. No damage taken. Dungeon complete. Now we build a new one. Slow down call. Enemies have less health but get armor. We've got the heroic place and an assassin's lair. We'll go stock room here because I need to do a mend action and then we will go assassin's lair over there. Crawl. Now we get full health, right, never mind. I forgot about it, so let's go level up and I think we cannot have too much damage. If I can one-shot enemies, they might not have a chance to uh, retaliate at all. So, in we go. Three enemies in one room here. Let me shield bash you, shield bash you. No damage taken at all, interesting. No damage taken at all from that little barrage that he took, gave me there. Let me go spear and throw a... S Do we want to throw a spear at this guy? 32 health. If I throw the spear and then stab him, I think... Oh, we did take damage. Okay. Here we will break distance. It did, did, it did work. We did not take damage then. And then shield out. No damage taken. Beautiful. Oh, oh did we? Hmm. Hard to tell. And that's another restroom here. Good. We got one enemy, one enemy, and two enemies. I'll take it level up again. Just take the health. Proceed. Got another big guy here. We will stun him, I think. There. Good stuff. No damage taken. The dragon enemy again. I think it shoots. Uh, so the shield should block and then we will bash it. Good. Yeah, it seems to be all about solving the rooms with taking as little damage as possible. Like, no brainer, but that seems to be the major play in this game here. So I'm not sure about the bash here. We will. There, take the first hit on the shield. Ground slam. And then I think we block the first of his attacks too with 60 health. Yeah. No damage taken. Good stuff. Okay. Four unknown rooms and then two. Okay. We got slowdown and heroic place again. But really, I will. Let's try. Enemies have less health but get armor. Let's try doing that and then stock room over here. Instead of the level up for once. So here we will go... Effect. Effect activate the effector room card. There. So they're supposed to get armor, which we cannot see on the models, I think. There, and then... I think we can beat the other guy without... No, no, we took damage. Okay, four. Here, they have so low health. I don't think it'll be a problem, really. Uh, let me ground smash, though. Oh, that was not enough. Okay, we took a little bit of damage. It's fine. Here, they have so low health. Oh, they, but they get armor. That was the thing, right? So, hmm. We can't see the armor or what I don't know how armor works in this game either, so it's kind of weird. I had some little glitch here. Okay. New enemy types. Fun. We will probably be utilizing this the ground smash. There. That kills all of them. Or not. Okay. Fun. Spear out. So I took quite a bit of damage, but we only need with three enemies and three enemies again. Oh, and we can see here, this is what it means. Two melee enemies and a shooter, I suppose. Uh, a melee enemy, a big guy, and a square. <laughs> Whatever that means. So I, I could learn that if I remember, or try at least. Um, I think I'll try just going health here. If we can 
just survive, we will be healed to full after this room here, you know. We got second win. Discard a random ability card from hand and then heal. Oh, that's powerful. Here, I would like to throw a spear at you. Good. Nice. And then shield out. Oof. Nasty room. Okay. We have four energy stamina. And I can... Probably not bash you yet, but there. That's on the shield. Let me stun you. Good. Now sword out and cheap move. Oh boy. Almost dead. Here. Bash. Good stuff. That was nine health, but we made it. And we should be here to full here. All right, we keep going down. I lost track of how deep we've gone, but I'll do at least one more. This sequence's enemies get their health reduced. That seems uh, like a good idea to do early. And then we will do... I'm not sure if I like the showdown, slowdown call. I feel like they were surviving even though they had low health. Enemies deal half damage but ignore armor. And I'm not sure if I have armor. I'll put in the scenic call because it can't hurt. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't do anything unless I do with the effect action, right? Here, though, we should be at full health. I will level up. And probably just do a little bit more damage right now. Good stuff. So this room isn't super scary. We smash the first one without a problem. I'll stun the other one. It's, it attacks into the shield, then we stun it. And take no damage. Nice. Uh, I'll open with spear here, so that we can throw a spear at a potential ranged enemy. Good. And then go into shield for all the small enemies here, with a shield strike on you there. Oh, you didn't die from that. Oh, boy. Sad. Okay, sad. Let us play a second win here. That healed me quite a bit, that's nice. Okay, and that seems to be a shield only ability. So let's do it again and then switch weapons. So here, no, sword. There, and then cheat move, good. Quite a bit of damage there, okay. I wonder when we get new cards for the various stances. Now we have one shield. Here, I can switch between them as I see fit, but the cards seem to stay the same. They do. Ha. Huh. For this room, I have not been upgrading spear a lot, or speed a lot. Yeah, we still love you. I'm not sure what... No passive effects for now. We still love you. I'm not sure what that means. There's the shield blocking a hit seems really powerful, so I'll go with that for now. This room we will take some damage. Yeah. So three enemies, three enemies, and two enemies. Okay. This seems like a sharpshooter kind of thing. Maybe an archer. These are probably mages and then two melees. I really want to get through the sequence, so let's just mend and get to full health here. Okay, yeah, two melee enemies and a good old mage. Can I charge him? Yes. Like so, good. And then shield. Good. Seems like we draw a card whenever we get another tick of stamina. No, hmm, no, that's not how it works. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Spear, nothing there. Sword. What do we have? Ignore pain. Get temporary armor based on missing health. Oh. All right. For now, I think we are bashing this man. No, just deal damage and run on. Good. And then stun him. 
Oh, I should not have overspent on stamina just then. We can heal with the second wind, that's nice. I think we go sword here. And the thing shoots fast. Ah, but dungeon complete. Good. The architect is summoning you. The air around you goes scorching cold. Scorching cold? Doesn't seem like that's possible. Okay. Uh, so then I'm gonna say good enough and go talk to the architect. Well, how did you get here? The current owner of the mansion, the architect, is towering over you. His figure almost too imposing to belong to a mere civil servant. The barmaid rubs her wrist, uneasy. She probably intended to act as a mediator, but the pressure is overwhelming. Now, I just read the sensational article a month ago and just understood that the mansion was calling for me, too. So I had to go. I had to meet the Wishmaster. I see. May I take a look at your invitation? Ooh, where were, was I supposed to bring an invitation? Oh, I actually have one on me. The, a glossy black envelope embossed with uh, golden letters, just like the article described. Oh, but I can be a contrarian and not offer it. Here, didn't know you had to check them personally. The architect brushes over the envelope with the tips of his fingers. You expect him to take out his own invitation to compare them directly, but that never happens. He smirks, then returns your possessions back to you. Masterful. Oh, thanks. We really haven't faced any trouble because of the inspector's arrival. If anything, he has been doing exceptionally well. So I've heard. I'm almost curious to see how far he would be allowed to go before his journey inevitably comes to an abrupt stop. Until then, enjoy your time in the spotlight, Inspector. Thanks. He buries himself in work, erecting an invisible wall between you. The barmaid breathes a sigh of relief, but you are hesitant to celebrate victory. Leave. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's talk to the other people. The barmaid greets you warmly upon your return. Back again. I hope you made progress. I'm really liking the voice acting. And uh, I'll fill in with my own as always. I did. Although it slightly differed from my expectations. But it wasn't Isn't too hard. It nice to hear. And how do you like the puppets so far? Are they being obedient? As puppets are. Quite so. While I'm still getting used to it, they react to my commands immediately. Good. Sometimes they do misbehave. So, if that ever happens, please report it right away. The puppeteer will make sure to replace them for you. She glances at the broken doll parts scattered around the puppeteer, some of them already being ground to dust by their ever-resourceful maker. Are you relieved you don't need to go into battle yourself? Or, perhaps, disappointed? It's... oh, uh, it's good that there's no real risk involved, or admittedly it takes away from the triumph. Admittedly, now nah, it's oh, fine. Oh, but I don't believe we were talking about you facing no risk. Uh-oh. That sounds ominous. I am simply supposed to be directing the play, right? What's the worst that could happen? The barmaid hums evasively and returns to her duties, refusing to elaborate further. Leaf. Okay. And finally, the puppeteer. The dolls hop and dance in the puppeteer's equally doll-like hands. Oh yeah, look at that. He's a weird guy, isn't he? Their fluid yet distinctively inhuman moment movements fascinating to observe. This is our first private conversation, I believe. 
No follow-up. Has the mansion been treating you well, my dear, is something I would have expected you to say there. But you didn't. Then I suppose, but so far, it feels like I've been running in circles. Ah, it happens to the best of us. The trick is never to stop trying. Otherwise, one day the performance might start without you altogether. Still, I hope you are driven by something other than pure necessity or curiosity. These reasons prove to be weaker fuel. Compared to what? Yeah, <laughs> what would you suggest? That depends. So if I had to choose between pursuing ambition and happiness, what would you rather pick? Interesting. I generally always say happiness should be your goal in life. Curious. For me, it's the same thing. Oh, come on. That's a trick question, then. Your ambition brings you happiness? That, that works for some people. That's fine. You asked me to choose between them, though, dude. My ambition is my happiness. Yes, I yes. I can only be content when I am moving forward, challenging the existing order of things, dismantling, analyzing, and creating that which never existed before. Hmm. Okay, I'm rereading that sentence. I can only be content when I'm moving forward, challenging the existing order of things, dismantling, analyzing, and creating that which never existed before. That's a nice philosophy. I can see why people would strive towards kind of that kind of thing. Yet you are still stuck here. Only fools rush in. Surely you've heard. Oh, perhaps you could not comprehend it that well because you were already too far ahead. Uh huh. Okay, I, I, I think this, me and this guy, we're not going to have a romance. This is not working out. The puppeteers scoffs at you, raising their chin indignantly. A single jab is not enough to antagonize them, but they don't seem to be the person to merely laugh at having been called out either. The conversation naturally comes to an end. Leave. All right. And so this was a short spotlight of crawl yard about half an hour so you're just supposed to go deeper and deeper in the dungeon visit the dungeon three times visit it two times various little quests here what happens if i click on a character that i've already visited nothing really we just get to sort of observe them do their thing all right it does feel like there are some kinks in the game that they need to iron out, but I do like the concept of like the, the fluid combat. The camera angle was a little bit weird in the combat. Like sometimes the card would obscure some of the enemies. And I feel like I I would want some details on the enemy. Maybe a little bit more of an introduction. Or like some games will give you an encyclopedia of enemies, which I don't think we have here. So that's kind of interesting. Also, the music needed to go down a little bit further. So, yeah. I hope all, you all enjoyed this spotlight of Crawl Yard. Uh, more might come around. The game drops in quarter two of 2022. So in not that many months. And uh, yeah, this has been Kitchen reviewing Crawl Yard. See you all around and bye-bye.